Blood stem cells can develop into all types of blood cells in your body, including white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. Blood stem cells are also called hematopoietic stem cells, and they live and divide in your bone marrow. White blood cells are a part of your immune system and help to fight infections and diseases. Platelets are blood cells that form clots to stop bleeding. Red blood cells contain hemoglobin, a protein that carries oxygen to your body's organs and tissues. Your genes code for different types of hemoglobin. Here, we will focus on three types of hemoglobin. Hemoglobin F, hemoglobin A, and hemoglobin S. Hemoglobin F is a non-sickling hemoglobin that is present in red blood cells before birth. After birth, a gene is turned on that blocks the production of hemoglobin F and the body will then produce hemoglobin A. For individuals with sickle cell disease, a small amount of hemoglobin F continues to be produced after birth. Hemoglobin F is also known as fetal hemoglobin or HBF. Hemoglobin A is also a non-sickling hemoglobin that is present in red blood cells after birth. Hemoglobin A is also known as adult hemoglobin or HBA. Hemoglobin S is a sickled hemoglobin that is produced as a result of a genetic variant. Hemoglobin F S still delivers oxygen, but is not stable and can break apart easily. The presence of hemoglobin S causes red blood cells to form a crescent or banana-like sickle shape. Individuals with sickle cell disease have a genetic variant that causes their body to produce hemoglobin S instead of hemoglobin A. Individuals with sickle cell disease inherit two hemoglobin gene variants, one from their mother and one from their father. They can have two hemoglobin sickle genes or one sickle hemoglobin and another hemoglobin variant such as hemoglobin C or beta thalassemia. Individuals with sickle cell may experience different health complications as a result of their red blood cells being sickle-shaped instead of their usual round shape.